Hello, good evening. Hi, how's everything? Vital, como están? Very good, good. Con frío. Con frío. <laughs> ah, mi, tiene, tiene rato de estar lloviendo por esa zona. Ah, no, hace poco, pero estuvo bien oscuro antes que esto. Ah, ok. Ah, casi, casi toda la tarde ha estado oscuro. Eh, sí. Sí, ha sido que la, la mayoría de sus compañeros están reportándose. En almost everybody got problems. Jesus Christ. But anyways, we will see how can we fix this situation. Give me one second. Give me one second. Oh yeah, I mean, that 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 is like a really bad thing, bad situation, uh, in which basically the whole country is going through. Yeah, I mean, these rainy days lately have been yeah, a nightmare, and uh, mostly for people who lives in 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 San Salvador area, because I mean, you got you know like everything stuck, traffic. And everything, but let's see what's up. So let's see what we can do with that. All right. So, but <laughs> I mean, I got very, very few students here today. But you know, like we're gonna start with those, with the ones that are in here right now. We're gonna continue with that. We're gonna start discussing the topic that we have for tonight. So during the time class, so I hope more of your classmates get connected, you know, and we can, you know, like like discuss the topics that are for tonight. All right, but anyway, so we're gonna start with the, the attendance list first. It's eight o three, so we're gonna start with that, and then we are going to start, you know, like with the topic that we have for tonight. So I'm gonna start with uh, Abel Edenilson. Abel, mm, no here. Okay, uh, Alexandra Michel. Bueno, creo que Alexandra sí tiene un tiene un problemita, creo, tiene una reunión o algo así. Acabo de leer. Uh, Bania Raquel. No here. Mm. Christian Mauricio. All right, so he has problems also. Uh, let's continue. Eduard Armando. Neither Edward. All right, he is there, but I think he's going to be as a listener. Hmm. Eric Enrique. All right, not here. Eric Fernando. Neither Fernando. Jose Mauricio. Present. Ah, okay. Good. Estoy en camino, perdón. All right. Se escucha el gran musicón, ¿eh? Como siempre. <laughs> yeah, man. Sí. Bien con todo, con música de despecho, man. Anyway, that's cool. All right. Uh, Julissa Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Carla Daniela. Present. Okay, good. Let's move. Kelly Joanna. All right, so it's not here. Lea Berenice. All right, so Lea todavía va de camino. Liliana Alejandra. I'm here. Okay, good. Uh, Mario Eduardo. Present teacher. Mm, okay, good. 
Marvin Edenilson. Present. Ok, good. Noé Vladimir. No, 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 no. Ah, Rosa del Carmen. Righteous, no, no. Rose Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Ah, ok, good. Ah, uh, Veronica Lisset. Okay, she's in here. Wilber Ernesto. Okay, no here. And the last one, Ana Patricia. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Let me see the remaining. Or, I am in a really sleep. Okay, good. Now, Let's start, people, with the things, you know, like that we were discussing yesterday. If you remember yesterday, we were just discussing a very interesting topic in which it was called. What was the name of the topic from yesterday? You remember, guys? What was the topic from yesterday? Use imperative. All right. Imperative. And what is an imperative? Can somebody tell me what is an imperative? The commands. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, basically, an imperative is a command, right? Do I really need a subject if I use an imperative? No, 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 no. Ah, okay. Good, good. All right, cool. Recuerden que cuando usamos un imperativo, no necesitamos un subject. Okay? We don't really need a subject. What do you just need? Ah, easy. You need a verb and a complement. Okay? That's all what you need. And remember, an imperative is basically uh, a command or order that basically we give or we receive from people, all right? That's what basically uh, we can understand as a imperative, right? An imperative in that case. Good. And one of like the most common imperatives that we were practicing yesterday, if you remember, the imperatives can be singular, Right, like, like talking about one person specifically, we can also talk about imperatives in negatives and positives. Okay, good. For example, if I tell everybody, hey, turn on your cameras, that is an imperative. Remember, all right, because basically I am giving you an instruction about something. Okay, so in our work, we use different imperatives also at the moment of speaking with another co-worker or even when you speak to your boss. Generally, the boss gives you indications, you know, things like that. And basically, the, he or she is giving you, you know, somehow an imperative point, right? Like, for example, Ruth, I mean, she's coming very smiley today. All right, Ruth, can you tell me an imperative that you generally use in your workplace? <laughs> what happened? 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 Y ahí dije, ya le afectó el clima. <laughs> Muy helado estaba. I mean, I didn't notice that. No me fijé en eso. Ok. Ok. Hey, no, ahí está. Ahí está, solo que apagó la cámara. Debe haber sido gracioso eso. Ok, pero anyway. 
Hey Ruth. Aquí estoy, no me digas. What, hap what, what happened to you, Ruth? Me hicieron, me hicieron reír un poco. Ah, ok. Pero okay. de esas risas que no se puede controlar uno. Aunque ah. yo. <risa> Perdón. Okay. No le entendí su pregunta. Bueno. Con que no pase alguien en Boxer por ahí, en el brazo, no. <risa> Espero que no. <risa> <risa> ok, good. Now, listen, Ruth. Listen. What are the most common imperatives that you generally give or you receive in your workplace? Uh, en español. <risa> ¿Cómo dice? I mean, in English. In, in English. Uh, un ejemplo uh, de pichos interactivos en la casa o en el trabajo. No, in the workplace, en el lugar de trabajo. Oh, ah, okay. en lugar. Um, los demás vayan pensando igual. ¿Cuáles son los, los, pero, los comandos si dice, o instrucciones que reciben en su lugar de trabajo o que ustedes dan? Ah, oh, ok, eso le iba a yeah. preguntar si era que yo doy o que recibo. Oh, uh -huh. mm, ok. Hold. Mm. No, no, pero me equivoqué. Este, creo que sería. Uh, Ajá. Yo, no sé cómo se dice. Eh, puntual. <ríe> puntual. Sí. Puntual. Ok. Eh, Sería do you punctual? Mm -hmm. Punctual. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, be punctual, that's one. Okay. Solamente uno. Uh, okay, y ese usted lo da o usted, a usted se lo da? Ah, okay. Yo lo doy. <laughs> ah, ah, be punctual. Uh -huh. Mm, okay. Sí, es que yo, yo trabajo en una fundación, por eso es que ve niñas pasar. Ah, Ajá, entonces. No, man, I, didn't, I didn't see it. No, no vi nada. Sí, creo que a ver el, el que está pendiente. Man. Sí, pero es que, es que estamos en el área de estudio, entonces ellas pasan estudiando, están en la universidad, entonces somos ocho personas viviendo. Entonces. Ah, ah, Ajá. ok. okay. All right. Que cualquier no, cosa no. es por eso. Okay. Ah, ok, good, good. All right, Ruth, thank you. All right, Mario, how about you, Mario? Uh, for example, teacher, uh, please check the report. Ah, ok, please check the report. Good. Oh, that's, that's, that's one. Good. Uh, a ver. For example, please turn off the air conditioner. Ah, the air conditioner. Okay. Mm, that's another one very common in the workplace. Right, Marvin? Yes. For example, please make a new uh, accounting report of the week. Mm, okay, good. Good. There you go. Nice man. By the way, that 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 flag that you have behind you, I mean, it, that's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Aunque, aunque por algunas franjas acá, man, no 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 les guste mucho, creo. Right, Mario? <laughs> hey, Mario. Teacher is the best thing uh, in the country. Who? Which one? Club Deportivo Fas. Forever ah. and ever. Ah, ok. Yo creí que iba a decir aliancita por ahí, ¿no? Eh, con todo respeto. Le va a dar una oportunidad de pensarlo. <risa> okay. No la va a expulsar de la clase. <risa> ah, no, 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 no. Es que como vamos siguiendo el, el department, right? The department. I mean, uh, since I'm from San Miguel, I'm, you know, like supporting Aguila. Mm. Yeah, I mean. my wife uh, my wife is from Usulutan so she supports Firpo so just imagine uh, when Aguila and Firpo 
uh, get together and then she's fighting and you're seeing like, ah, perdedores and everything. Se enoja a veces más que la comida, pero gana, le gana. <laughs> Alright, All right. but that's, that's, that's nice. Okay, good. Let's keep going. Carla. Creo que ya terminó de comer, Carla. All right, Carla. Eh, estoy todavía, pero ahorita le digo. Ah, ok, ok. Please bring me that piece. Br bring me the keys. No, that piece. Ah, bring me that, please. Ok, mm -hmm. good. Ok, good. Thank you, Carla. All right. Uh, let me see another person who was yesterday with us. Okay, Edward, no problem. All right. It's understandable. There are some of you that have problems, uh, that have meetings and everything. And it is acceptable. All right. So that's acceptable. Good. Julissa. Hi, teacher. All right, Julissa. Can you give me a command that you generally use at your workplace? Um, please clean your office. Okay. <laughs> okay. Clean your office. Okay. I mean, that command is pretty interesting. Okay, but anyways, yeah, like we can see people from every team in the workplace. No, oh, okay, and on, right? Creo que los demás sí están algunos de oyentes, así que we're gonna stay out there. Recordemos, eh, los imperativos no son más que todas aquellas instrucciones que por lo general nosotros damos a alguien más o alguien más nos las da para un fin determinado, okay? So that's, that's merely a command used for. All right, so by today, people, today uh, uh, we are going to start with a very, very interesting topic also. Tonight, we are going to be discussing this topic. Give me one second. I'm going to put the presentation. And just a minute. Give me one second. We're going to have a very, very short practice about this. And um, yeah, it's just this one. Yeah. All right, we're going to put layers. Okay, cool. So, this is tonight's topic. Today is the August the 10th, remember? And uh, the topic that we're going to be discussing is going to be how to use have to and need to. Good. Have you ever uh, have you ever used these structures into a conversation before? ¿Alguna vez han practicado estas estructuras dentro de conversaciones? Preguntas, respuestas, or something else? ¿Quién lo ha hecho? Yo, pero ya no me acuerdo mucho. Mm. Oh, ok. Me suena más común. Es así. Uh, what ah, what do you say? El have to es como tienes que hacer. Ah, es más pero común. No que me yo, 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 no if tú es necesitas hacerlo. Mm. Okay, let me mess. All right, cool. Hey, that's pretty, pretty simple. The way how you you put it, and actually it is that way. So we're going to see some things related to those uh, topics. Look, what do we got for the class agenda? We're going to have the review from the previous class, something that we have just deal with the uses of imperatives. All right, we're going to start with have to or has to. Remember, interperson, when we use have to, interperson, the verb changes completely. So that's why we have, instead of have to, we have has to, all right? When we use third person or singular, remember, right? When we use he, she, it, or any singular noun. 
So in that case, we use has to. We're gonna be discussing that a little bit uh, later. So let's continue. After that, we're gonna uh, practice the uses of need to. All right. Later on, we're gonna be practicing a short conversation in the manual related to the topic, of course. And that's pretty much what we have. And uh, we're gonna try to complete some activities that are also in the manual, right? So this is like the most relevant that we have for the class, okay? Good, now let's move on. Have to. What is have to? Look, this is a short definition about the uses of have to, right? Mario, let me reading. Have to and has to is used to express certain necessary and obligation. All right, in that case, like necessity and obligation, but mostly, mostly the one that we are going to be discussing tonight is going to be obligation, all right? That is like the class being focused generally on this structure. Have to or has to basically is uh, what Marvin was saying, tener que, all right? And it mostly expresses an obligation of something, okay? When we use this structure, they're expressing, expressing an obligation. Uh, for example, take a look at these examples. Anna, can you please read the first example? This answer has to be correct. Okay, good. ¿Qué estamos expresando ahí? Estamos expresando certeza. That's what it says, certainty. Right? Or certainty. Remember, this answer has to be correct. So, tenemos has to en este caso, porque si decimos esta respuesta, estamos hablando de algo en singular, ¿ok? Recuerden que cuando estamos usando un singular, entonces ahí ya cambia, ya no es have to, tiene que ser has to, ¿ok? Keep that on mind. Now, let's take a look at the other one in there. So, what are they expressing? For example, the second the second sentence, uh, Marvin, tell me a ring. I have to finish the workbook before the exam. Okay, cool. I have to finish the workbook before the exam. What are we expressing in that case? Necessity, right? Because in a somehow I got the obligation to do that. Good. Now, and what about the last example, Julissa? Tell me a ring. Julissa? Julissa? Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Ay, yo dije ya, se quedó dormida. No, 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 es que esta cosa me está fallando. Ah, okay. okay <laughs> Read the last example. Okay. They have to leave early. Ah, okay, cool. They have to leave early. What are we expressing in that case? ¿Qué estamos expresando? Estamos expresando obligación, right? We're expressing obligation in that case. Good. Now, what is another thing that we can uh, use in, in this case? Look, esta es alguna de las, de las usos que tenemos con el have to, como les mencionaba anteriormente. Nos vamos a quedar con la última opción, digamos, en cuanto al uso de esta estructura. ¿Cómo así? Vamos a ver ejemplos, ¿ok? Nada más expresando obligaciones. Generally, those obligations that you have in your workplace, the obligations that you have in your houses, you know, like they, they are very different. So that's pretty much what we are going to be doing for the rest of the class. Now, let's start with have to, as I said, expressing obligation. All right. Now, look, you can answer what is the type of structure that we can generally use with this topic. Like, if we have 
have to or has to, generally we need a structure, all right, to create positive statements, okay, with positive statements. And let, help me out creating the structure. Vamos a ver, ayúdenme a crear la estructura. Vamos a ver, poco a poco nos vamos a ir introduciendo en cada una de estas estructuras para crear oraciones. ¿De acuerdo a las oraciones que teníamos anteriormente? ¿Cómo sería entonces la estructura para ustedes? Subject. Subject. Ok, cool, the subject. Class. Ok, cool. Class have to. Class complement. Have to. Class. Class com complement. Uh, are you sure? A verb. A verb. 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 Ah, the main verb. Remember, have to is only an structure to express obligation, but we need an extra verb, right? And that verb is the main verb. Okay. And now, yeah, now we can say complement. For example, you can say, I have to participate in the English class. Ah, you see, I is the subject, have to is the structure, participate is the main verb, in the class, in the English class is the complement. So you have it like that, right? You got it like that. Another example, I have to, Ah, uh, turn on the camera in class or during class. <laughs> okay, good. So I got another one. Cool. Now, can you give me one example for you all? What else can we write down here? ¿Qué más podemos colocar acá? Podrían darme un ejemplo. Vamos a crear uno. Okay. Usando un plural. Usando un plural. Vamos a poner they. Oh, no, no, no. Para incluirnos todos. We. All right. We. We have to. Give me one verb. Study. Huh? Study. 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 Yes. All right. We have to study. English, for example. Okay. Good. Another one. They have to do the homework. You see, all of these sentences, remember it. All of these sentences are in first person and plurals, okay? For example, another way to make it something in plural, I can say, Anna and Ruth have to uh, connect to class on time. Ah, you see? Ana and Ruth tienen que conectarse a la clase a tiempo. So, en ese caso, estamos hablando acá de un plural. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos a dos personas acá. Dos subjects. Look, Ana and Ruth. Por eso acá tengo el have to y no has to. Okay? So, keep that on mind, right? Another example. And the last one. Vamos a ver el último ejemplo acá. Okay. How come? Check this out. Marvin and I have to what? Have to support our teams. Ah, you see? Have to support our teams. There you go. We got another one, right? Good. 
So for us, it's an obligation, right? Moral obligation, yeah, I mean, kind of like that, but it's an obligation, right? Good. So in that case, what are we representing with these people? Remember, we are representing something merely obligation, okay? In first person and in plural. So those are the sentences that we have there. And these ones are positive statements, okay? Positive statements. Remember that, okay? Good. Now, in your houses, people, I know that you have obligations to do, okay? Now, can you mention to me which are the most common obligations that you have to do in your house before you go to work or after you come from work? What are those obligations that you have to do? All right. For example, when I come from my work, I have to take care of my baby while my wife is cooking the dinner, right? Or also, I have to prepare the class before the class starts, okay? Every single night. So that's part of my obligation. Good. What are the obligations that you have in your house. Can you mention two obligations that you have to do in your houses, please? You can write them down if you want, okay? And when you have them, let me know or turn on the microphone and read them to me. Two obligations that you have to do in your houses, okay? Write them down and then read them for me. Pretty similar to those ones that you got there. Just let me know when you finish. And if you have any questions, just let me know also, okay? If you have any questions, just let me know. Pueden hacer solamente dos, dos oraciones, ¿ok? Usando have to. Hablando sobre, y a la redundancia, eh, antes hemos estado hablando de ello, de usar have to expresando una obligación que ustedes tengan en su casa, ya sea antes o después de el trabajo. Okay. Finish, teacher. Cool, Mario. Can you read them? Yes. I have to watch closed after work closed ah, okay good and i have to clean the room okay good you have to clean the room good that's part of an obligation that you have to do every day good thank you mario somebody else i finished okay. Cool, Carla. Read them. I have to cook the dinner before my class. Okay. And I have to feed my my pets after the class. Okay, very good. Yeah, they eat really late then. After the class? Ya comen, yeah. Ya bien tarde. <laughs> yes, and, primero yo. Es lo importante. <laughs> <laughs> I have dinner during the class. Oh, so okay. I can I can do you need, you need you need the strength to do the dinner for them. Obviously. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Good, well done, man. Good. Thank you, Carla. All right, somebody else. All right, Rook. Read me. I have to take my daughter to school. Okay. I have to clean the garden. Okay, perfect. Very good, Ruth. Thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más que ya haya terminado las oraciones?
just let me know please Somebody, somebody else, alguien más. Rosa, are you there, Rosa? Yeah, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I have to check homework of my son. Ah, okay, good. Uh, bueno, eso no sé si es así, pero I have to give that diner to my child mm, okay i have to give the dinner to my child or oh, i have to feed my child ¿Cómo? I también podría decirlo i have to feed my child i have feed. to feed f e e d feed feed and then give uh -huh, exactly Digamos que eso es para una manera general. Por ejemplo, así. I have to feed my child. Eso es como, ah, tengo que darle de comer o tengo que alimentar a mi hijo. Ah, ok. Ok. Dame, that's pretty cool. Mauricio, do you have your example? Ah, uh, no he entendido. Perdón, porque acaba de venir. Thank you, Ana, by the way. Ajá. Uh -huh. Have to basically is, is like when we express an obligation, Mauricio. All right, about something that you have to do. Es cuando expresa una obligación, all right, en la cual usted tiene que hacer ciertas actividades, like in the workplace, right? So that's what your classmates eh, are working on. And if you take a look at the examples that you have in the screen, the ones that we were doing, those ones are expressing obligation. Right? Mm. Yeah, I mean, this is this is like what we have been discussing. Good. Who else? Hi, Hello, teacher. Okay, Rosa. Hello. Okay. Um, I have to clean the house. Okay, good. And I have to cook the dinner. Okay. With, with me. Okay, all right. Good, good. All right, perfect. That's an obligation that you have in your house. Thank you, Rosa. Somebody else? Alguien más? Finish, teacher. Okay, Liliana, read them. I have to wash the dishes after eating. Okay, very I good. I have to check my email every night. All right, very good. Okay, thank you, Liliana. That's okay. part of your obligations or your duties. Good, good. Abel, do you read your examples? Okay, teacher. Not necessary. I have to prepare my motorcycle. Mm, okay, good. It's every day. I, I have to clean my room, Seria. To clean your room? Clean, clean my, my room. Ah, okay, good. You have to clean your room. Okay, very good. That's part of your obligation. Perfect. Good. Now, these belongs to examples in first person and third person, okay? Let's keep that on mind. But what happened when we switch? And now we don't talk about first person or third person. Uh, Mauricio? Uh, sí, perdón. Eh, no sé si estaría bien. I had to uh, make call. To new clients. Uh, you mean client? Uh, clientes? A los clientes nuevos. Ah, new client. New client. Ah, new client. client. Yeah. Clients. That's the pronunciation. Okay. Ah, no puedo quitar, perdón, la parte de oyente. <laughs> Give me one second. I will help you out with that. Ahorita no, Uh, as a client, we, we can use customer 
Yeah, I mean, there's another way to say it. Uh -huh. Customer or client is the same. The same thing. Good. Yes, I to mode it. Thank you. No, okay. Good. Good. All right. Let's keep going. As I was saying, basically, those examples are uh, done in first person, okay? But what happened when we have third person examples? It's almost, almost, almost the same. What is the only difference? That in here, instead of saying have to, we say has to. Okay, and this is like the big difference that we have. For example, she has to clean her room. Look at that. She has to clean her bedroom. Ah, I mean, ella tiene que limpiar su cuarto. All right, or su dormitorio, as you want to call it. He has to. He has to go to work. All right, look at that. He has to go to work early. Ah, I mean, él tiene que irse a trabajar temprano, right? All right, what else? It has to be a joke. Podemos decir con it también. It has to be a joke, man. Tiene que ser una broma, right? That's like another way to say when something surprises us. Esta expresión es más que todo la utilizada para cuando nosotros nos sor sorprendemos sobre algo, right? Mostly. Good, another one. Mm -hmm. For example, All right, take a look at this one. Helen has to turn on the camera. So in that case, I am specifying the proper name of a person, okay? The proper name of a person. All right, and we have another one. Eddie has to pay attention ah you see what is that case it means eric has to pay attention oh, eric tiene que prestar atención good what is that i mean that one is an obligation right y aquí pues ya estamos expresando una obligación que alguien más tiene que hacer algo prácticamente right y así es como prácticamente nosotros creamos oraciones en Tercera persona, right? Third person example. All right, people. Said this. Eh, dicho esto, tenemos alguna pregunta? Do you have any questions related to this topic in first and third person? ¿Alguna duda? Okay, cool. If you don't have any doubts, good. That's perfect. Bien. Ahora, ya que no tenemos ninguna duda con respecto a ello, uh, okay. All right, people. As I was saying. If you don't have any other question to do or to ask in, 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 you know, like in relation to these things, good. What, listen up, what are those activities by obligation that one member of your family have to do in that case? Podrían mencionarme una obligación, bueno, en este caso háganme dos ejemplos, sobre obligaciones que ya sea tu hija, tu hermana, tu esposa, tu esposo, tienen que hacer en casa. What are those obligations that they have to do? 
mention two activities, all right, that they use as obligation to do every single day. Let's do it. Voy a tomar como ejemplo la parte que tenemos ahí. All right. When you finish doing it, let me know. Cuando terminen los ejemplos, me lo hacen saber. Just let me know when you finish. And if you have any question with that or any doubt, just let me know. Teacher, how okay. do you say uh, lasagna? Lasagna is the same. Solo ah. que se escribe así, mire. L A S A G N A. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lasagna. Thank you. Okay. Let me know when you finish. I finished. Okay, perfect. Can you read them, Carla? Yeah. My boyfriend has to pick me up from work. Okay, good. And my mom has to get up at 4 a.m. Okay, good. At 4 a.m., wow. Yes, early. Super early, man. <laughs> super, yeah. super, super early. Like me today, man. I put the alarm yesterday at 4.45 and I woke up mm -hmm. at 5.45, so one hour later. <laughs> <laughs> but service. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy, for real. That was super crazy. <laughs> and according to me, it was 4.45. I mean, like, I was like so nice. And when I saw the hour, I mean, is it not four? No, I mean, it's five. So. No, man, I was crying because I was late. <laughs> Super late. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, but thank, thank you, Carla, for your examples. Uh -huh, Mauricio. Uh, how do you say uh, sobrino in English? Nephew. Like this. Look. Okay. In his teacher. Nephew. Yeah. Okay. Teacher. Perfect, perfect. Uh, creo que, uh, antes no he hecho Eduardo. I'm on, we're going to start with Mario and then Penny. Y luego, ¿quién más me dijo finish? Creo que Liliana. I, okay, yeah. cool. First Mario and then you, Liliana, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay, teacher. My sister has to finish homeworks on Saturdays. Nah, okay, good. Mm. I don't know if it's correct, but my mom has to cook lasagna when I arrive. arrive. When I ar arrive. Arrive. Uh -huh. mm, okay, good, good. Yeah, I mean, good. Maravillosa, <laughs> mama. Teacher. Good for him, yes. Aha, Liliana. Teacher. Ah, uh, Ruth, yeah. Eh, perdón, perdón, que interrumpa. Esto, ¿De qué se trata? La, ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Ah, ah. Aquí ya es en tercera persona, usando un miembro de su familia. Ok, thank you. Using has to, ok. Good. Okay. Good examples. Good. Okay, my example is my husband has to take out the garbage on Wednesdays. ¿Cómo se dice miércoles? Uh, Wednesday. 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 Yeah. Okay, uh, the next, my ne nephew has to sleep early. Okay. Has to sleep early. Okay, very good. Yeah. 
Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Liliana. Good. Okay. Somebody else? Alguien más? Finish. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, my nephew. Te dijo sobrino, ¿verdad? Nephew. Uh -huh. Nephew uh, has to go to school. Uh, mm -hmm. My mom has to go to supermarket. To the supermarket. Perfect. Thank you, Mauricio. All right, somebody else? Finish to chair. Okay, perfect. Read them. Uh, my husband has to feed the pet. Okay, good. And my son has to arrive at the school at 7 a.m. No, okay, good. At 7 a.m. Man, that's early, super early. This is nice. Okay, good. Now, thank you, Anna. By the way, okay. Let me see. Who else is missing? Alguien más que ya haya terminado. All right. If you don't read, I will make you to read. A ver. Finish, read. teacher. Okay. Okay, read. Abel. Uh, First, Abel, and then you, Ruth, okay? Okay. Okay. My sister has to cook dinner. Has to cook the dinner, okay. My brother has to wake up at 5 p.m. Oh, okay. Has to wake up at 5 a.m. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Abel. Now, Ruth. Uh, my daughter has to feed it the bell. Yeah. Uh, okay. My daughter has to obey. <laughs> okay. Your daughter has to obey. How old is your daughter, Ruth? Excuse me, teacher. How old is your daughter? Uh, no le entendí. All right. ¿Cuántos años tiene la hija? Ah, ok. <laughs> Esa palabra siempre se me ha costado. <laughs> eh, ten, ten years. No, ok, cool. Years yeah, old. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. She is ten years old. Like that. Yes. Okay, she's she, 10 years old. old. All right, and she has to obey. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> right, perfect, perfect. All right, perfect, Ruth. Thank you. Now, uh, who's next? Marvin, do you finish? Yes. Okay, cool. Read it, please. My sister has to make her homework and study for his Exam for her exam. Okay. Ah, okay, for her exams. Very good. The next one is my mother has to wake up early and prepare our breakfast. Oh, okay. Interesting. Thank you, Marvin. Good. Uh, Eric Merlos. You look tired, Eric. Se ve tan cansado que ya le puso cronómetro a, a la parte de esta camarita para ver a qué hora se termina la clase. Uh, come on, Eric. Really? Ay, ¿por qué se puso la volada? <risa> Vaya, vale, dijo una corta cuando no era tan pro. Como... Uh, uh, all right. Le extraño es que nunca veo que pasa de 65. <risa> Pero, anyways, Ay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Vaya. He has to finish the class. Uh, Carla has to work on Sunday. No, okay. Is that true, Carla? No, not really. Ah, 
I, I don't work on, on Sunday. Ah, okay. All right. Perfect. Good. But thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Eric, for the examples. Yeah, I mean, they were correct. Good. Somebody else that is active here? For example, Lea, uh, uh, are you available? Or de camino a casa, Lea? Okay, I think she's on the way home. Rosa, did you do your examples, Rosa? I'm asking you because you were participating. Hmm, I think she's not there. Hmm, Vanya? Phonetic check. Ah, do you have your examples? Okay. Uh, my mother has to cook the breakfast and lunch. Okay. And I guess my nephew has to clean the house. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Kelly, are you there, Kelly? Yo vivo sola, teacher. Hola. No, vivo sola, no tengo a nadie a quien darle instrucciones. Ah, really, really? You? Alone? Yes, alone. No, no babies there? No nothing? Ah, bueno, a quien darle instrucciones, pero mi hija de un año no va a hacer nada. Ay, pero bien que cuando agarra algo le dice, no lo toques. Tienes que, tienes, no. tienes, tienes, okay. tienes que, tienes que comerte la comida. ¿O no le dice así? No llores. Mejor de la daca, no le vaya a hacer caso. No. Exactly, exactly. I will be no, no lo obligo. Ah, segura. Hmm. Eric, le segura. Ay. <laughs> Okay. All right. De niñero. <laughs> Oye, Eric. En, menos, todo. En, menos, en menos de dos horas ya va corriendo Eric de regreso. <laughs> sí, yo sé. No aguanta. Una media hora. <laughs> ok. No, es un segundo tengo trabajo. Eh. No, de niñero, no, no, Eric. You lost in there, man. You lose there. All right. Good. Now, people, let's continue with this topic. Let's continue. All right. Um, let me see. What else is in here? Okay. <laughs> Good people. At least you I, I think you copied the, the structure from those ones. So I'm gonna clear up these things and let's move out. Let's move out in here. What I got here is like an extra, you know, like uh, examples, right? Good. And I have me already these extra examples. I have to wear uniform in my work. Okay, good. Thank you. Mauricio. You have to meet. With the uh, with the clients, clients. Okay, cool. You have to meet with the client next. Abel. She has to make calls every day. Okay, cool. She has to make calls every day. Ruth. Perdón, no escuché, teacher. <laughs> read, the, read the last example. Ok, permítame, que no lo tengo en esa pantalla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> es que me está costando, no tengo energía, teacher. Ah, ¿really? No hay energía en mi casa. Ooh. Por eso no enciendo la cámara, porque no me van a ver. <laughs> Okay, no problem. No problem. No, sí, aquí, aquí hay mucho ruido ahora. Ah, sí. Uh, 
¿Cómo es? Ah, el, el siguiente ejemplo. Yeah, I mean the last She one. has to make call, calls every day. Okay, very good. All right. Now I'm gonna put that one. Uh, no, the next one, the next one. Is the next. Okay. Uh, he has to talk a lot. Okay, cool. He has to talk a lot. Él tiene que hablar mucho. That's representing, remember, an obligation or a requirement, right? That's like a requisite. Y esto como que estamos hablando de requisitos o things like that, you know? Good. So that was pretty much what we have to, all right? Now, let's go to the next one. Need to. That's another, you know, like different structure. Need to. What do we use need to for? Ah, we use need to when we want to express necessity. All right. Ya acá ya no estamos expresando obligación. Estamos expresando necesidad. Okay. We are expressing necessity in that case. Ah, okay, cool. Let's start with the examples. Rosa, are you available, Rosa? Estamos disponibles, Rosa? Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Read the example, Rosa. I need to do my chores every day. Okay, thank you. All right, I need to do my chores every day. Good. What is that? What are we expressing in that case? ¿Qué estamos expresando en ese caso? Estamos expresando una necesidad de hacer algo, right? What the que... meaning of chores? Chores? What the meaning of chores? The meaning of uh, the whole sentence? What is chores, teacher? I am in the meaning of chores, basically, it's activities that you do in your house like mopping sweeping cleaning the general cleaning ah, como tareas, oficio. tareas de la casa exactly ¿no? los oficios sí, de la casa eso lo veo como obligación <laughs> <laughs> ah, it, depends, it depends on your perspective porque puede ser para muchas personas una necesidad más no una obligación okay. Imagínese usted tenga todo ay, ay, un mes de no hacer limpieza. ¿verdad? Me obligan a quitar la magia de mi cuarto, así que. Never. No una necesidad, es una obligación. Exactamente. Ya la, la silla con ropas, ahí parece el bolito de Navidad, le cuelgas lucecitas ahí, man, and you have them right. Cabal, así. Yes. Pero a mí igual me obligan a quitarle. Nada no, más. It's like, no fair. Okay, good. Next one. All right, check this out. Kelly, help me out reading this one, Kelly. Kelly. Hola. Help me out reading this example, please. No lo escucho, teacher. Hello. Hello. Casi no lo escucho. Ah, all right. Eh, le comentaba que me ayude a leer el otro ejemplo, please. El, el, el segundo. Yeah, I mean the second one. This one. Okay. You need to uh -huh. um, buy new clothes. Uh -huh, okay. You need to buy new clothes. All right. Cool. Cool. Thank you, Kelly. All right. What are we expressing in this case? Estamos expresando necesidad. Okay. Eso sí que es necesidad. <risa> no sé por qué, pero para las señoritas, el comprar ropa siempre es una necesidad. 
Yeah. ¿O es una necesidad mental o es una necesidad porque ya no queda la ropa? I think it's mental. Y zapatos <laughs> también. Yeah, I mean, I know. I know. You know what? You know what? Most it's necessary, women. teacher. <laughs> Most women. You know what? Most women tienen, I mean, tienen hasta 10, 15 pares de zapatos, sandalias y toda la cosa, ropas, trajes, y dicen, no tengo nada que poner. <laughs> I don't have anything in my closet. No, I man, you're, you're amazing on that case, man. <laughs> sí, son bien, son bien very special in that case. Y los hombres parecemos pirulín ping pong. Exactly, man. Only one thing and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's true, that's true. Un, una, una, una mudada y nos aguanta todo un ciclo de vida, man. Everything. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Hasta que ya tiene hoyitos para... por todos lados. Y cuando, y cuando tienen hoyitos lo dejamos para andar en la casa. Y cuando ya pues definitivamente no funciona, es, se convierte en franelas para limpiar. <risa> Pero ya muchos años después, ya dos décadas después. Exactly, exactly. Right? <risa> I mean, it's like, like when you guys go to buy clothes or things like that or shoes with with you know like with your girlfriend or, or whatever you have nah man that's a nightmare como cuando llevan a la novia uh, o la novia los lleva a ustedes la esposa o lo que sea a bien comprar, económico a, resultan a, a comprar ropa o zapatos Jesus Christ se tardan <laughs> un diluvio y al final vienen a salir con lo primero que ustedes le han dicho ese lleva que te queda bien y ellas dicen no y le dan vuelta a todo <laughs> como sufren <laughs> nah man You're crazy, ladies. You're crazy on that. Jesus. All right. Listen up. I'm going to stop in here a little bit because I'm going to pass the second attendance list, okay? And then we're going to continue with this. Give me one second. I'm going to have those one right there because it is time. It is time. Abel Edenilson. Cool. Alexandra Michel, and Alexandra está en reunión ahorita. Uh, Bania Raquel. Present. No, ok, cool. Cristian Mauricio. No, ok, he's not here. Mm, let's continue. Eduard Armando. Present. Ah, ok, cool. Let's move. Eric Enrique. Man, solo vino como por cinco minutos. Le dije, se fue. Right. Eric Fernando. Present. Nah, okay, good. Ah, José Mauricio. Present. Okay, perfect. Julissa Jamilet. Ah, no, se fue Yulisa también. I think she has problems with the internet. Carla Daniela. Present. All right, Carla. Debido a, a, a ausencias masivas, today you're going to have the 10 minutes feedback, okay? Okay. Just for you to remind. All right. Kelly Joanna. Present. All right, cool. Lea Berenice. Ok, creo que todavía no llega a la casa. Uh, Liliana Alejandra. Present. Ah, ok, perfecto. Let's move. Mario. Present. Ya casi llego, ya casi llego. Ah, ok, Lea. All right, perfecto. Uh, Mario Eduardo. Present, teacher. Ok, good. Marvin Edenilson. Present. Ok, cool. Noé Vladimir. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ok, good. Next. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Verónica Lisset. 
en su sonido. Wilber Ernesto. No here. And the last one. Ana Patricia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Now, let's continue, people. Where do we say I am here? Okay, cool. Next example. Take a look at this one. Uh, Carla. She needs to write a new letter. Okay, very good. She needs to write a new letter. Nice. That's another one that is expressing necessity, right? Good. Necessity. Next one. Mario. Meow, Mario. He needs to send the report. Okay, very good. He needs to send the reports. There's another thing expressing necessity, right? All right, good. Let's remember, need to is mostly to talk about necessity, okay? That's the most common uh, use that we have for this scripture. Now, Abel, let me read in this one. I need to spend more time with my children. Okay, cool. I need to spend more time with my children, right? Ah, necesito pasar más tiempo con mis hijos. Right? That's expressing a necessity, right? Good. There you go. Hmm. All right, but what happened in this case, people, with the structure about need to? It's pretty similar the way how we're going to do it. In comparison to the other one, all right? How come with the other one? Check this out. Structure. Let's put the structure in here. And it's pretty similar to have two. In what way? That we start with the subject. After the subject, what do we have? Ah, we need, need two. After need to, what else do we have here? We have main verb. After the main verb, it goes the complement. Okay. Examples. I need to, look at this. I need to make my students to speak English. I need to make my students to speak English. Ah, necesito que mis, hacer que mis estudiantes hablen inglés. All right, another one. You need to. Hmm, what else? You need to buy new shoes. We need. To what do we need, people? I mean, something that is expressing a necessity for us. ¿Qué podríamos expresar una necesidad para todos en general? Can you help me out with that? Ganar más dinero. Ah? Ganar más dinero. <laughs> okay, good. We need to get more money. All right, good. We need to get more money. They need to, what do they need to? What can we, I mean, what can we put in here? Maybe can be improve the pronunciation. Okay. Improve the pronunciation. Good. They need to improve the pronunciation. Vamos a poner in positive. Their, uh -huh. Their pronunciation. All right. Necesitan mejorar su pronunciación, ¿ok? And uh, vamos a especificar acá. What else? Hmm. Vamos a poner. Eric. And. Hmm. Well. Eric and, uh, let's put Mauricio. Eric and 
Mauricio, me too. Meet their boss. Eric y Mauricio need to meet their boss. Ah, mi Eric y Mauricio necesitan conocer a su jefe. Okay? So this is like the way how we create a statement in a positive way using need to. Remember, this is mostly for first person, second person, and plural forms. Okay? Not third person. Aquí no hemos incluido el uso de las terceras personas o el uso de singular porque el verbo en la estructura del need to se modifica o agregamos parte eh, del verbo, como ustedes saben, en presente simple siempre colocamos ya sea S, ES o IES al verbo en tercera persona. All right. What do we do here? ¿Qué solemos hacer en este caso acá? All right. Pretty simple. Look. In this case, in the structure, in the structure, we generally do this. Instead of having need to, we use needs to. Simplemente modificamos el need y le agregamos S. How come? She needs to. Look at that. She needs to. Work extra hours. Vamos a poner más sencillo. Overtime. All right. He needs to see his son. All right. He needs to see his son. Ah, necesit él necesita ver a su hijo. All right. So let's say what Abel needs to sleep more. All right, good. I mean that's another one, right? Abel needs to sleep more. En ese caso, ¿qué estamos haciendo? No estamos expresando obligación, sino más bien necesidad sobre algo, right? De hacer algo, right? So let's remember, have to for obligations and need to expressing necessity. Okay. Good. ¿Y cuáles son esas necesidades que ustedes eh, de cierto modo necesitan, valga la redundancia, hacer o desarrollar o tener o whatever you want to put in there? Could you help me out with a series of examples, please? ¿Podrían darme dos ejemplos sobre algo que ustedes necesiten hacer, tener, desarrollar, whatever? Help me out with two examples. Personally speaking, okay? When you finish, let me know. About something that you need. And then just let me know, okay? I finished. Cool. Wait then, Farla. I need to buy a new cell phone. Okay. And I need to do more exercise. <laughs> Okay, good, good. Thank you, Carla. Me too, man. I need to do more exercise. But I'm lazy. I don't want to go Me to the Me too. Gym. I'm lazy too. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Finish teacher. Okay, read them. I need to go to the beach. Okay, you need to go to the beach. <laughs> I need to lose lo, uh, weight. No, okay, no sé good. Cómo. I need to lose weight. Uh -huh. Está bien la pronunciación. Yes, it's weight. Okay. Mm, I necesita perder peso. I mean, you're okay with that. 
we really need to lose weight, but not you. <laughs> but that was part Realmente of the <laughs> Really? Hmm. No, okay. I was okay doubting. But anyways, I mean, that's up to you. Good, thank you, Ruth. Maybe, you. maybe for health. Mm, maybe. For salud, puede ser. But she looks normal. I think. <laughs> no, I think she's normal, but it can be. Según, el, según la estatura de uno, tiene que tener un peso. No sé, yo estoy pasado y está de peso. <laughs> ah, come on. Mm -hmm. uh, according, according to that, man, uh, si yo siguiera esos patrones, o sea, que yo me, me muero pasado, de hambre. Me he pasado como, sesen, como 60 libras, man. No, no man. creo, teacher. For real, for real, Ruth. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Si tratara de llegar a eso, yo me muero de hambre. <laughs> me Pobrecita too. Carlita. Comamos no cucutas mejor. Sí, sí. Prefiero ah. ser feliz. <laughs> me too. Aunque después no podamos correr ni una cuadra, me es so sad. Ahí se acaba la felicidad. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. Good. Somebody else to finish? Finish, teacher. Cool, Liliana. Read them. Uh, I need to work less. No, okay. But uh, I need more money. <laughs> Okay, all right. That's the sad part, Liliana. I, I feel you. Entiendo mm -hmm. tu punto. Lo comparto. Me acompaña mi dolor. Exactly, exactly. We need to work less, but we need Creo more. Creo que time. todos la acompañamos en su dolor. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, man. Así que si alguien se lanza para diputado que nos dé trabajo. ¿Quieres trabajar desde tu casa? Ese, ese, ese es un trabajo de ensueño. No hacen nada y ganan buen salario, ¿no? Saber cómo hacen. Saber. Pero si alguien consigue algo ahí, ¿no? Que nos dé paso. Si alguien algo. sabe algo, pasa el tipo. Exacto, man, exacto. Mario se ve en buen perfil para candidato a alcalde, ¿no? O diputado, no es los de trabajo. El presidente. El presidente. Ay, no. <risa> Mario no va a llevar la quiebra. Exactly, man. Oh, sorry, Mario. All right. Thank you, Liliana. Now, who's next? Hey, teacher. I'm finished, teacher. Cool, man. Let's go. I need to do the homework and I drink to, I need to drink Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay. Yes, that's mostly a, an addiction when no necessity. <laughs> El riñoncito se lo pide. <laughs> y el riñoncito como pasita, ya, man. <laughs> sí. Nah, man, but it's delicious. I share your opinion, Mario. Comparto su opinión, man. It's really necessary. Yeah, man. All right. Good. Thank you, Mario. Now, who's next? Vamos a ver. Ahora yo voy a escoger. Patricia. Let's go, Patricia. Ya sabía. <laughs> Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer una lista acá. ¿va? Primero okay. Patricia, luego Rosa del Carmen, espero que Rosa me haya escuchado. Uh, who else? Luego Kelly, luego Marvin. Uh, da, 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 who else is missing? ¿Quién más? Y al final Bania. Luego vamos a ver a Merlos ahí. Good. Let's go, Ana. Ok. I need to go to the dentist. Ok, very good. Uh, I need to eat healthy. Mm, okay, good. You need to eat healthy. Man, but, but, but junk food is delicious, man. And cheaper. Pero la comida chatarra es más deliciosa y va más barata. Sí, pero me hace daño. <laughs> We know, man. A todos nos hace daño. Me too. So sad, Ana. So sad. All right. Thank you, Ana. Rosa. Let's go, Miss. Rosa, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yo. 
Okay, I need to buy the car. Mm, okay, good. And I need What else do you need to do? I need to learn the English. <laughs> oh, okay, good. I need to learn more English. Okay. Okay. Nice. Cool. Thank you, Rosa. ¿A quién más dije después de Rosa? Porque ya no me acuerdo. I think it was Kelly. Kelly, are you there? Kelly, are you there? Hola, hola, hola. No, I am in your there. All right, let's go. Hola. Hello. Eh, no sé si está bien, teacher. Mm -hmm. I need to sleep more. I need to sleep more, okay. Son dos. Yes. Espérame, espérame, espérame. <laughs> ok. Eh, sería... I need to sleep more and okay. go less. Ok, good. Alright. Thank you, Kelly. Okay, you need to sleep more and uh, go less. Good. All right, somebody else? Vania? Hola, teacher. La mía es, I need to do exercise. Okay. And I need to more time with my family. Okay, cool. You need more time with your family. Good, that's a necessity. A very good necessity, actually. Thank you, thank you. Somebody else? Alguien más que me falte? I'm losing track with these people. Aquí. <laughs> cool, Mauricio, let's go. Uh, I need to time to go out to the other country. I okay. need to remo uh, remove. Uh, okay. How do you say? ¿Cómo? Eh, necesito que me remueva los brackets, o sea, que me los quiten. Ah, I need to remove, to remove the, the braces. The braces. Braces. Yeah, ah. yeah braces. Mm, ok, very good. There you go, perfect. Somebody else? ¿Qué más falta? Somebody else. Hi, Hi. Ah, well. Go. Okay. I need to buy another motorcycle. Comparto su opinión, man. I need to buy another motorcycle also. But, 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 my, but I, my, my wife says it's not really necessary. <laughs> ah, continue. <laughs> my life. Okay, I need to, I need to more learn vocabulary. I need to learn more vocabulary. Yes. I need to learn more vocabulary, okay? Very good, necesito aprender más vocabulario, that's what it says. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Abel. So now... Let's jump into the next things, people, because we need more things to do. So that was expressing, you know, like the, the necessity of things. And this was the last one. Okay, good. What are we going to do now, people? Listen up. Basically, we have done the short presentation that we have for tonight. And now let's go and jump into the manual thing. Let's go to the manual 
and we are going to start specifically on page 26. Vamos a ir a la página 26 del manual, right? Las otras anteriores lo vamos a hacer mañana, okay? Entre mañana y pasado, no problem. And in here we have a short conversation. Look, we have a short conversation between two people. And it says, listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. It says, John and Anne. This is a conversation between these two people. It says, John, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Is there, listen up, is there something you need to do tomorrow? And it says, Anne. Yes, actually. Yes, actually. I need to call some clients. I need to call some clients. And you? And you? It says, John, well, I have to reschedule. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings two meetings for tomorrow for tomorrow they were cancelled today they were cancelled today it is an oh that's too bad Oh, that's too bad, right? And then it says, John, yes, yes, I, listen up, have to provide, I have to provide important information, important information to some customers to some customers and it says and at the end that sounds interesting that sounds interesting all right people from this short conversation that we have in here did you have any questions with the vocabulary tenemos alguna duda con respecto al vocabulario uh, yes teacher all right. How do you pronounce reschedule? All right. Okay. Listen, listen. Reschedule. Reschedule. Jewel. Thank you. All right. Reschedule. What do you mean that, teacher? Reagendar. That's the meaning of reschedule. Reagendar. Something else, people? Alguna otra palabra que tengamos que des, uh, tengamos problemas con pronunciación o que no sepamos qué significa. La, la última en de John. Eh, yes, I have to pro, provide. Yes, I have to provide. Provide. Mm. Provide. ¿Qué significa? Provide significa proveer. Provide. Proveer. That's what it means. All right. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? Thank you. All right. Good. No? Okay. Good. If you don't have any, any other one else, let's go to practice this short conversation, people. Pues me gustaría que practiquemos por un par de minutos esta pequeña conversación. Listen up. Luego, listen. Luego de practicar esta pequeña conversación. Hmm. Nos vamos a ir para acá abajo. To the next page. Hmm. And in here, listen. Y acá, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer? En este pequeño recuadro dice, look. 
write about something you have to do or need to do these days. Escriban sobre algo que tienen que hacer o necesitan o necesitan hacer estos días. Ok. Good. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer en este caso? Look. Tenemos ahí varias estructuras. Tenemos when, tenemos what time y tenemos where. Right? For example, I'm going to do one single thing. I need to, oh, yeah, I mean, I need to go. I need to go to the cinema. At 11 a.m. in in Metro Centro. Lo podemos hacer de esta manera. Ok. Can we do this one this way? Podemos hacerlo de esta manera. O lo podemos hacer, right, de otra manera. ¿Cómo así? Más sencillas las oraciones. ¿Cómo así? I have to, listen up, I have to go to work next, I'll put next week. What time? I need to start the class at 8 p.m. Look. And where? I need, listen up, I need to go to, I need to go to El Tunco Beach. Si ven, cada una de las oraciones está expresando cada una de las WS words que tenemos ahí arriba. ¿Cómo así? La primera dice when. Básicamente es para referirnos a, en ese caso, give me one second, people. <coughs> Básicamente ahí estamos hablando de una, una situación en una fecha determinada. ¿Verdad? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo se va a llevar a cabo eso? Ah, podemos poner la próxima semana, esta semana, this week, right? Si ya se llevó a cabo, sería last week, pero en este caso sería más que todo como en presente simple, se está dando futuro, como en el ejemplo que tenemos ahí. What time? Podemos poner un ejemplo sobre una necesidad o una obligación en que, digamos, en la hora en la que se tiene que hacer. Por ejemplo, ustedes pueden decir, I have to start to work at, tengo que comenzar a trabajar a, Ustedes pueden colocar la hora en la que inician el trabajo, right? En eso se refiere a, a what time and where. Podemos colocar una serie de oraciones en el lugar donde nosotros necesitamos o debemos hacer algo, ¿ok? Like that. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Look, si lo hacen de esta manera última que yo lo he hecho, me van a hacer dos oraciones por cada uno, ¿ok? Solamente dos. Y se van a ir a trabajar en parejas y así se pueden colaborar los unos a los otros, ¿ok? En el desarrollo de las oraciones. ¿Estamos? All right, perfecto. Cuando me refiero a dos oraciones por cada una de las divisiones, me va a ser una a usted, una a su compañero. Y ahí van a tener dos, ¿ok? Con when, otras dos con where y las otras dos con what time. O sea que en regla general, cada uno va a ser tres y nada más. ¿Ok? ¿Comprendemos? Yes. Yes, okay. sir. Cool. Yes, Any, sir. Any yes. questions? Cool, cool. Bueno. Podríamos, util, podríamos utilizar la misma oración y solo cambiar, por ejemplo, la especificación de tiempo, lugar y, y, y así. Por ejemplo... I have to make a new report tomorrow. Mm -hmm. luego, I have to make a new report at 8 o'clock. Y luego, I have to make a new report in my office. Especificando las 
Sí se puede, pero uh, come on, Marvin. Eh, sería como el mismo para todos los tiempos. <risa> y no, man, eh, Tenemos más necesidades o, u otras cosas que mencionar. Sí es aceptable, pero I mean, eh, eh, viene siendo casi lo mismo en toda, eh, solo que la situación va a cambiar. Así que pero como Marvin es bien trabajador y creativo, yo sé que me va a hacer una por cada uno, ¿verdad, Marvin? I try to. <laughs> okay, I hope so. I hope so. Good. Now, I'm going to stop sharing these things and I'm going to try to create the groups. Let me see. Uh, solo necesito saber si los que estamos acá, la gran mayoría estamos uh, available, estamos disponibles. Let me see. Merlos, are you there? Okay, perfect. She's there. Rosa, can we work, Rosa? Yes. Perfect. Edward, sí, está en una reunión. Me comenta Kelly is in the house. Kelly sí va a participar. Vania, are you there? Yes, teacher. Cool. Lea, ¿ya llegó a su casa? Ya, yeah, teacher. Okay, perfect. Eliana, are you available? Yeah. Okay, very good. So, entonces, solo Edward sería. All right, ahí vamos a compartir, okay. Give me one second. I just want to need to do something. Give me one second. Very Jesus Christ from this time. I mean, number two. Okay, me van a quedar dos grupos de tres. Give me one second. One. All right, perfect. Let's open up the breakout rooms. Vamos a practicar primero la pequeña conversación por unos tres, cuatro minutos. Luego nos enfocamos en las demás, ¿ok? Let's go, people. Let's accept the invitation to join the breakout room. All right, Rosa, help me out there, Rosa. Enjoy me. Sí, Richard sí. tenía el mismo reclamo de todos los días y por eso de una le escribí por eso mejor ni vino ya sabía lo que iba a decir exactly exactly ok right, a and is there something you need to do tomorrow yes actually I need to call some some clay, 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 ¿cómo se dice cliente Clients. Clients. Okay. I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule 
two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled. Information from customers. Thanks. So interesting. Okay. Intercambiamos. Yes. Okay. And is there something you need to to Okay, ahí está. Ahí está. Okay, si quiere empiezo yo, siendo yo, y usted, um. Va, está bien. Okay. Eh, um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule to meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That some interest, interest, interest. Sí, interés. Ay, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Creo que es interesting. Interesting. Mm. Y el teacher está. Teacher. Sí. Me, me ayuda, teacher. <risa> mm. Ok, si quiere invertamos los, los roles. Bye. Está bien. Ahora soy yo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. And is there something you need to... Espérese, voy a empezar otra vez. Okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to go some clients. And you? Well, I have to rescue you uh, to meeting for tomorrow. Uh, they were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. In the Hello. Teacher. Hello. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia la última palabra? Inter, inter, ay. Inter dime, dime <laughs> right now I'm gonna go the interesting. Interesting. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. 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 Yeah, like that. Interesting. Okay. Very good. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y la otra palabra era rescheduled o res con como con i al inicio uh -huh. o e. Ah, uh -huh. uh, no, rescheduled. Rescheduled. Yes. Okay. Like that. Rescheduled. Rescheduled. In interesting. And interesting, exactly. Y cancelar, ¿cómo era la palabra? Cancel. Cancel. Yeah, cancel. 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 Sí, ¿verdad? Cancel. Como cansado, pero cancel. con D al final. <laughs> exactly. Cancel. Ah. <laughs> ok. Teníamos duda okay. en esas palabras yeah. con la pronunciación. Thank you. Oh, ok, ok. No problem. Thank you, teacher. Entonces, al, al revés, eh, Vania. Ok, ok. Sí, verdad. <ríe> Vania. Perdón. Sí, sí. Ok. Bueno, well, sí. entonces yo soy John ahora. Yes. Ok. 
And is there something you need something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually uh, I I knew mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. to call so kids and do client client clients client ah client ah y siempre lo anoto pero <ríe> client ah sí aquí lo tengo <ríe> así tengo el montón de apuntes ahí mm -hmm. Well, I okay, okay. Ah, okay, okay, perdón. <laughs> <laughs> no, lo siento. Well, I have to reschedule you to meetings for tomorrow. They were uh, El siguiente is I need to wake up at 5 a.m. Okay. El otro I need to go I need to go to a Massman Park sub surf city. La segunda. I need to wake up at I need to wake up at 5 a.m. Okay. Y la última. La última. I need to go mm -hmm. to a Massman Park surf city. Parque de Diversiones de Surf City. Vale. Hoy las tuyas, dale, te escucho. Esperamos. Eh, eh. Ah, ok. Ajá, ah, siempre con el I need o, o el, el I have. I have to do homework at. Lo hice en orden. Teacher. What's up? Tenemos una duda. Ajá. Los ejemplos iban a ser así como los hice en el libro. Eh, sí, tal y como los hice ahí. Ay, no, yo pensé que era con diferente actividad. ¿Cómo así? <ríe> Olvídelo. Ya no, 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 ¿Cómo, ¿cómo lo tiene? ¿Cómo lo tiene? Porque puede es ser así también. No, o sea, en el primero puse, I knew to go to the gym. All right, en el, en el de when. Ajá. Ese sería más que todo en where. En where. Ajá, porque está mencionando un lugar. El lugar. Uh -huh. um, en what time podríamos poner, podría poner otra actividad mencionando una hora. Y en el, sí. de, when, en el de when podría mencionar una actividad poniendo eh, el día, por ejemplo, en el que lo va a hacer. El día. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Y así, así sería. Perfecto. Ok, cool. Similar to you, Abel. Yes. Así lo estaba haciendo yo, pero... No, ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Así estamos bien. Very good. En específico, especificando en web, se podría como especificar. Eh, no, vaya, puede mencionar la actividad y podría mencionar usted ya sea una expresión de tiempo indicándose ya, ya sea mañana, ahora, la próxima semana o un día específico. Ah, porque poniéndolo, I need go to the supermarket. ¿Cómo? Sería siempre, I need go to the supermarket. I need to go to the supermarket tomorrow, por ejemplo. Ah. Uh -huh. Tomorrow, uh -huh. tomorrow, ajá, si lo puse at, at 6 p.m. En where le puse paseo general escalón, paseo escalón. A ver, ¿dónde escribió ese ejemplo? En when, 
And when I escribí, I need go to the supermarket tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And what time? At 6 p.m. Yeah. And where? En Paseo Escalón. Así sería. Mm, eh, en este caso, mejor completemos otras oraciones en cada uno de los aspectos. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. dejemos la primera tal y como está. ¿Ok? ¿Le veo la idea? Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ok, good. Ahora, pongamos otra actividad que se hace a la hora que mencionó en, en, en What Time. Mm. Si ya hizo una de Mitsu, hagamos una con Hapsu. Mm. ¿Qué tiene que ser a esa hora usted? I need a to go see to go. Yo lo puse a las seis porque a las seis salgo de trabajar. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso sería lo de ir a, a comprar porque pensé que si era. No, no hay problema. Solo pongámosle una pequeña actividad antes. No hay problema. I have, con, I, I have uh -huh. two. I have two. Mencióneme algo que usted tenga que hacer a esa hora. I have to... Supongamos que usted compra comida. Vaya, ¿a qué va al, al súper a comprar comida, cierto? Uh -huh. Ah, ok, coloque eso. I have to buy food at... Uh, yeah. A ver, a ver si en el lugar. I mean, el, el, la hora. Uh -huh. All right. No hay idea. Okay. I have to buy food at... 6 p.m. Uh -huh. Very good. Y ahora en el otro dijo paseo, es, paseo escalón, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Good. ¿Qué otra actividad aparte de comprar suele ir a hacer ahí? Aparte de comprar. Después de eso irme para la casa. Ah. Después de eso, irme para la casa. Vaya, entonces coloque. I have to go home from Paseo Escalón. Ah, tengo que irme a casa después del Paseo Escalón. Right, después de ahí o, o desde el Paseo Escalón. I have to go to home. No, I have to go home. Go home. El, From Paseo Escalón. From. 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 F-R-O-M. Ah, from. from. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. There you go. So this is the way how you can put it. Maybe. Es una así, una cada uno. O dos. Ah, no, no, no. Una, una cada uno. Ah, ok. Yeah, I mean like that. So, Kelly, do you have yours? ¿Ya tienen las suyas? Sí, teacher. No, ok, cool. Let's go back then, entonces. Vámonos a la sala principal, entonces, ok? Ok. Perfect. Ok. Algo me dice que sus compañeros no han terminado. Y por eso no están acá. Lo, lo más seguro es eso. <ríe> Ay, pero el sistema ya lo sacó, así que ya los trae para acá. Se habrán confundido también. ¿no? Les, les dijo así como es que, que pa, pa, enfrenten la realidad y váyanse. ¿Ah? <ríe> 
te habrán confundido. Mm, ya vamos a ver, ya vamos a descubrir eso. Oh, están chambreando. Ah, ya, yeah, bien. Con sueño, ¿verdad, Lea? <ríe> Lea <ya. ríe> no la entendemos, Lea. Tiene el, el, el micrófono apagado. Tiene el micrófono apagado, Lea. Así que no sé qué dijo. Ay, horrible. Yo ya quiero que termine esta semana. Ay, pensé que decía la clase. No, no, es que se me está tocando. Y que lloraba el teacher. Ya. Sí, ya, ya, ya. sí quiere que corte. Que aprende el lista, María, a dormir. Próxima que no pase el curso. Ya la voy a expulsar de la clase. Así que van a haber muchos ya que no van a ver para el próximo eh, módulo. Bueno. En sus tierras está lloviendo, teacher. Sí, está pringando. A las 5 de la tarde sí estaba cayendo un bombazo de agua bien tremendo. Pensé que no de iba a haber lado. energía. ¿Hola? De ese lado entra la otra tormenta tropical. <risa> no, pero aquí Ni asimilamos bien. una cuando ya viene otra. Pero acá sí. caliente está. Aquí en El Salvador ah, también. Sí, aquí está lo cangrejo. Peor que yo en vi San Salvador solo en la noche y bebe. Cuando va Ay, saliendo uno del trabajo. Cuando empieza la clase, es, empieza a es, llover. Específicamente, ah, vale. los, específicamente los espera a salir. ¿no? Ya cuando van saliendo, ¡boom! ¡Venga! Ay, <ríe> sí, sí. <ríe> Literal. Se va el inter, la luz y todo para Para no venir bien bañados y no escuchar nada de la clase. Exacto. Todo ya. se propone. No, sí, ya, ya, me lo, ya me los puedo. Y a partir de las 5 de la tarde ya empiezan a decir: Mire, teacher, no ha salido de clase, bla, bla, esto y lo otro. Y yo, ah, ya, ya, ya hay de chong en el Salvador otra vez. Ya, no ya, veo las no, noticias no, todo no, lo de ayer, un montón de árboles, sí, de, de choques y de todo. Sí, 86 árboles, para ser exacta. Salvador. A nosotros ah, casi nos cae uno en el micro. Bueno, le cayeron a dos carros adelante. La... Sí. Lo, más, lo más triste de eso es que ¿quién va a responder por ese daño? Nahuatl, Nadie. Y el asegurador. Si sí, hasta Cuamán andaba aquí, en San Salvador. Chapaleando. Lo que América no había luz ahora. Uh. Yo creo que el otro Eric por eso se desconectó ahorita anda en Balsa y se ve en San Miguel. Ah, por la Roosevelt. <risa> por la Roosevelt anda en Balsa. Ah, pues sí. Que eso es igual que en la Santa Lucía, en Ilopango. Así, <risa> ah, ahí se hacen piscinas improvisadas cada vez que llueve. Hasta ah, el techo, la agua. Por toda la, que, por toda la que baja de eh, la zona alta de, 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 de ese lado. Eso es, lo bueno, eso es lo bueno de vivir en el campo, como yo, que acá llueva día y noche, acá no hay, nunca se va a inundar. Pues sí, como casi todo planito y los otros en las lomitas, no les llega nada. Los de la lomita ya tiran el agua para abajo. Exactly, exactly. Ok, people, listen up. The conversation from, uh, uh, that you were practicing, we're going to do it by tomorrow, all right? Vamos a comenzar. La, uh, la clase del día de mañana con la conversación, con la práctica específicamente, lo que sí me gustaría que me leyeran antes de que terminemos la clase serían los ejemplos que hicieron ya que son dos por, por cada uno así que I think you, you, don't, you won't have any problem with that, ok uh, and I'm going to start okay. with Mario can you read Mario what you have there your yes, examples, you. alright, your examples only <clears throat> ok um... I need to travel to Spain tomorrow. Okay. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. Okay. And the last one, I need to go to amusement park South City. No, okay. Good, good. Hey, ya casi lo abren, man. That's nice. Yes. Nice. Cool. All right. Uh, Ana. Va, Mario? <laughs> El domingo. <laughs> Ariana, read yours. Boy, 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 boy. I need to go to the supermarket tomorrow. Good. And I have to do homework at 
9 a.m. Okay, very good. I need to go to the church. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Lea. I have to finish a report tomorrow. Good. I have to deliver it at 10 on the clock. Okay, good. I need to go to the office. All right, perfect. Perfect, a little bit. All right, that's what you got. All right, good. Mauricio? Okay, uh, Seria, I need to go nightclub uh, for me uh, Friday, uh, cumpleaños? On my birthday? Ah, eso. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> nos, nos, nos invita a su cumpleaños, man. <laughs> El día que abre eh, las ruedas de... ¿cómo se llama? Le pagamos Uber al ticho. <laughs> de, 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 bueno, de, de la libertad. Ajá. Del Subsidy. El otro domingo. Bueno, Ajá. este domingo es la cosa. <laughs> El 3, sí. Ok. Y okay. sería al mid, eh, midnight. Eh, y en zona rosa allá por el oso campero ¿no? good good <risa> qué mala onda <risa> qué mala onda no quería que lo supieran los demás <risa> no no sé qué es eso all right let's continue Carla thank you for, thank you uh, Mauricio ahorita mismo ya voy I need to buy a new permítame I need to buy a new cell phone next month. Good, good. After work in the mall. Okay, good. Y solo hice uno. There you go. Thank you. Abel. Okay. I need to go to the supermarket tomorrow. I have to buy food at 6 p.m. Good. Y el otro no lo complete. Okay, all right. Liliana. Thank you, Abel. I need to sleep early. Ah, okay. In what time? At 8 p.m. Where? In my house. <laughs> In my bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> specific. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very specific. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was a good that was a good pedrada, Liliana. <laughs> good. Marvin, let's continue, Marvin. Two more and we finish. No problem. Okay, okay. okay. Marvin? Tomorrow I have to make a new report. Okay. She has to make an exam at 7 a.m. Okay. And she has to buy a new house in El Salvador. Okay, cool. Thank you, Marvin. Ruth? Uh, I need to stay for November. All right. For tomorrow at uh -huh. the bank agency. Ah, at the bank agency. Okay, bank agency. Okay, good, good, thank you. Merlos, you're going to be the last one. Eric? Teacher, he says okay. that he uh, has troubles with the connectivity. No, no pudo ah. practicar. No, no, no pudo, Eric. No, tengo mala no. señal. Va, ah, entonces, me hace por lo menos dos ejemplos para mañana, ¿ok? Ok. Son dos más. Ok, cool, people. Va, el lunes. So, va. All right. Va. <risa> el lunes. <risa> ah, <come> on, eh. <risa> el lunes, dice. <risa> Nada, man. All right, I'm going to pass the attendance list. And tomorrow I want dos examples, Eric. All right. Le voy a poner falla en todas las semanas si no me los da. All right. Que sean más ejemplos solo por eso. Exactly. Cada día que no, que no se conecte clase van a ser dos ejemplos adicionales a los que ya tiene. All right. All right. Now, let's, let's, let's see. Uh, Abel de Nilsson. Present. Good. Alexandra Michelle is not here. Vania Raquel, porque ya se fue. Ya, mira, que se con. Uh, Chris. Cian Mauricio, he didn't get connected. Hmm. Eduard Armando, he's present. I don't know, he's there. 
Javier, Eric Enrique, no se conectó. Ajá. Eric Fernando. Present. Good. José Mauricio. Present. All right. Uh, Julissa Jamilet. Uh, she got disconnected. Carla Daniela. Present. All right, Carla. Let's stay with me after class. Kelly mm -hmm. Joanna. I'm Kelly Fairway. Uh, Lea Berenice. Present. Okay. Uh, oh. Juliana Alejandra. Present, teacher. Uh, nice, oh. nice. Mario Eduardo. Present, teacher. Uh, Marvin Edenilson. Present. Excellent. Noe Vladimir. He's not connected. Rosa del Carmen. She got disconnected. Ruth uh, Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Verónica Lisset. Se conectó Verónica. No, 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 Okay, let's go. Wilber Ernesto. Neither Wilber. All right. And the last one, Ana Patricia. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. All right, people. Thank you for getting connected tonight. I hope to see you tomorrow, people. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye, okay? See you tomorrow. See you. See you. All right. Bye bye. Goodbye. Good night, teacher. All right. Bye bye. Sure. Let's see, man. Bye. -bye. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna put him in the waiting room. Okay, Carla. This ten minutes uh are really, you know, like like to clarify any doubt, any question, any you know, like opinion that you might have related to the topics that we have been discussing and the previous topics that we discussed already, uh, or something that you have about the platform. So did okay. you have any question with that? Yes, I have some questions. All right, uh, go on. About the difference, uh, the different use between have to and need to, because right. I have I was practicing in the platform. Uh huh. And I made a Really? See. Si. Uh yeah, I mean, but but in the platform sometimes they got different views. Look, need to is mostly when you express the necessity to do something. Okay. How come? It's like when you have an activity to do or something important to do that creates that environment of necessity for you. For example, like the, the example that we were practicing about the clothes. Let's suppose you don't have clothes to wear on, to put on. So, and you say, I mean, I don't have enough clothes, so I need to buy more new clothes. So in that case, you are expressing a necessity. All right, not obligation, but necessity. So in that case, you use need to. Have to, in the mm -hmm. other hand, is mostly when you express an obligation about something, especially activities that you know that you have to do and it's your obligation to do, especially when you, have, when you are in your workplace, for example, right? So you have to, how can I say this, accomplish, some activities in order, you know, like to finish in a good way the work that you have for that day. So in that case, that is like an obligation for you, right? That you are obligated to complete an activity or a series of activities. So in that case, you use have to mostly. One expresses obligation and the other one expresses necessity on something. That is the difference mm -hmm. between they both. Sí, porque era algo confuso si pensamos en que, en que no todos necesitamos lo mismo, así mm -hmm. como usted decía. Ajá, Entonces, ajá. Esa era la, la confusión, ajá, porque ajá. sí me equivoqué varias veces. Lo bueno es que se puede practicar, sí, pero, sí, claro que sí. pero digamos, si me hiciera un examen ahorita mismo, casi aseguro que me saco cinco. <risa> no, ¿Y en qué parte, yeah. ¿en qué parte fue que, que, que tuvo problemas? ¿En el examen eh, o en, en la tarea? 
En las tareas. En las tareas. Mm, claro. Porque puede ser que para mí sí sea una necesidad. Pero, pero para la mayoría puede ser la otra, una obligación. Ajá, Entonces, ajá. Esa era mi única duda. Ok. Ay, uh, 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 Por ejemplo, la número uno dice, my mother goes shopping. She doesn't have red shoes. Eso sería need. Because uh, woman, woman needs clothes. <laughs> <risa> ah, entonces usted escogería esta. Right. Ajá, and what about this one? Ahí, it says, study for the English exam to get my American scholarship. Ah, yo, y luego dice, estudiar para el examen de inglés y conseguir mi beca americana. Need. I need to study. Uh -huh. Diría yo. O have. Why? Porque de, de estar obligada es que sí estoy obligada porque si no la consigo, no mejoro. Sospechoso. <risa> All right. De cierto <risa> Pero modo, si yo me lo propusiera como una meta okay. personal, sí es una necesidad. De cierto modo, podría <risa> ya ver. All right. Ah, ok. Good. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. You don't. Y luego dice, get up early if you don't want. Nos faltó ver esa parte de los negativos. Ah, si dice con have to, I mean, no tienes que levantarte temprano si no quieres. All right? O no, no necesitas. You don't need to get up early if you don't want. No necesitas levantarte temprano si no quieres. Yo me inclinaría más por have. Por have. Uh -huh. All right. Y en la dos ver? sería entonces need or have. En la dos. Uh -huh. Usted me dijo que más que todo expresamos una necesidad en ese caso, ¿no cree? Vamos uh -huh. a dejarla de ese modo. Vaya, number four. They, y luego dice, eating, uh, I mean, eat right now. I'm starving. Mm. Sería, Creo que eh, have. Eh, Creo que have, porque está obligándolos a ellos porque ella es la que tiene hambre. Supongamos que, que el yo es una ella. <risa> And they have to eat right now. Ellos tienen que comer ahora. I am starving. Estoy hambriento. Uh -huh. O oh, ellos necesitan comer ahora mismo. Estoy hambriento. Pero usted dice have to. Uh, Digo yo. Uh, porque uh, no son uh, ellos los que están con, con hambre. <laughs> ah, es el okay. Otro. All right. All right. And number five. We prepare a document for my bus. We need to prepare a document for my boss or we have to prepare a document for my boss? Hmm. It can be have. I have to prepare a document It's for like my boss? like a... Digo yo. <laughs> Porque Obligate. como del trabajo, uh -huh, es más ob una obligación. All right, vamos a ver. ¿Cuánto me saqué? <laughs> Pues bueno, ya es más de cinco, ya es algo. Le salieron dos malas. Vamos a ver cuál fue. Ah, all right. Esta, ah, en vez de have, sí, en vez sí, de need to, dice, sería una obligación. Mm. Acá. ¿Por qué una obligación? Porque si no pasa el examen, no, no hay beca. Si no hay examen, no hay beca. Entonces, está obligado a pasarlo. Está obligada a estudiar entonces. Right. Uh -huh. Y acá, all right, dice, they uh, need to eat right now. Necesitan comer ahora mismo. Porque estoy hambriento. Uh -huh. right. Entonces, ahí estamos creando una necesidad. Dice, y ahí atendemos el 20 de 20. ¿Y sí? Pero mire, uh -huh. en este tipo de situaciones, así, en este tipo de casos, como que eh, solo por el hecho de que a usted le salió mal, Usted no se sienta que, ah, la regué, que no sé qué, que si lo otro. Acuérdense que a veces depende del punto de vista de la persona, cómo lo tome. All right? Así va a ser. Si mm -hmm. para usted es una necesidad, pues va a ser need to. Pero si para usted es una obligación, entonces será have to. No sé si me entienden mm -hmm. ese aspecto. Depende de la situación o del contexto. Exactly, exactly. 
más que todo depende de cómo usted interprete esas oraciones. Si para uh -huh. ustedes es una necesidad, eso es una need. Need to. Sí, porque en la, en la otra yo estaba empezando el hambre del otro. Exacto. Yo digo, el necesitado es otro. El... Exacto, exacto. Entonces ahí va a depender de su punto de vista. ¿eh? All right. Okay. All right. Sí. There you go. Esa era la única duda. Ah, I mean, that was the only one. Esa era la única. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yo creí que tenía una lista. Y, y everything. <laughs> no, es que ahí sí sufrí porque no me gusta andar adivinando. Entonces, ah, de que, right. Si adivino, no aprendo, digo yo. No, I mean, and you're right, you know, somehow. De cierto modo, sí, tiene, tiene un tanto de razón. Pero igual, mañana vamos a continuar con los usos de have to and has to. Mañana vamos mm -hmm. a ver las formas negativas, más que todo. Right? Mm -hmm. que ya no expresan obligación ni, ni, ni de cierto grado de necesidad tampoco right? y con el cuadrito que hicimos de último si yo hice un, un solo ejemplo así como decía digamos mi oración en el primer cuadrito y la hora y el lugar hago otro entonces para tener dos mañanas va genial ¿Sí? termino ah. entonces right? ok ah, pues. perfecto entonces Carla ¿hay alguna otra pregunta? Eh, yo creo que no. <risa> ok, cool. Ahorita no igual, se me escapan. Igual, igual, si surge alguna otra duda, puede preguntarme ese en el grupo en, en WhatsApp o aquí en la clase directamente. ¿ves? Ok. ¿Ves? Igual, sí, mañana sí. vamos a continuar con, el, con este mismo tema. Durante ah, el desarrollo de la clase, ¿ok? All right, Carla, entonces sí, la dejo sí. descansar. Eh, nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Good night. Good night. All right, bye bye.